Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 24 inch canvas and I have several paints that I'm going to use and what I'm going to do is first just go over my paints and then I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to fill some cups, put down my base coat and then I'll bring you back. So I think I'm just going to do um, either flip cups or just dirty cups today, dirty cup pour. We'll just see how it goes. But anyway, my base coat today is the Blackrylic Titanium White. And to that, I added just probably a tablespoon of the DecoArt Satin Enamel. Maybe get a little cloudy effect today, not sure yet. My next color is the Blackrylic Primary Yellow. And to that, I added one skirt, squirt of the High Flow Golden Yellow, just to change that color up a little bit. My next color is Handmade Modern, and it's the 20 karat gold. And my next color is uh, Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents, the Rich Brown, very dark brown color. My next color is Folk Art Solid Bronze. And my next color is Amsterdam Vermilion. My next color is Liquitex Basics Turquoise Blue. Next is Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green. And next is uh, Master's Touch Emerald Green. My next color is Master's Touch Viridian. And I do believe that's all the paints I'm using here today. All my paints were mixed with seven parts of the mix to one part paint. And I did thin my paints with water today because I do want them to flow a little bit. And let me show you consistency here. Just leaves a little trace. Okay, so I will bring you back after I get my base coat down and my cups filled and then we'll start painting. Okay, hey everybody, I'm back. Again, I have a 12 by 24 inch canvas here today. I just think I'm going to do dirty a dirty pour on it. I did fill three cups and I did mix the paints up pretty, pretty well here. And so let's just get uh, started with painting. And I think I'm just going to um, go the long way here with my paints. And I am curious to see how these are all going to mix up with using the mix. I did stagger the colors pretty well. And I think I will have plenty of paint. Sometimes it's just fun doing a real easy pour as a dirty pour. So if you are a beginner, this is a good one to start with. That's cup number one. I do have some of my uh, base coat left too, if I need to put some more white on here. Again, I did put a little bit of satin enamel in my base coat and I did add 
that in with my cups, the white with the satin enamel. So we'll see if we get any response from that. Just using up all these paints. And my last cup here. I think this is going to be a very bright painting. Okay, now I think I will torch it. See what we bring up here. Again, I am using the mix, so. I'm not sure if I will get cells. Some of the paints I mixed yesterday and some I did mi just mix within the last hour, so I am going to get a lot of air bubbles up on those paints. And I think what I'm going to do is run a skewer through, through this before I get tipping. I think just to make it a little bit more cohesive, I think that's the word I want. Okay, and like I said, I do have some white left, so I might as well put some in here just to help the paint move. And wherever I see a bare spot. Okay, now the canvas is all covered. So let's just get to tipping here. First I'll just tip down a little bit and over. Tip over this way a little bit. And I'll tip down to this corner. And bring that back. Okay. And now I'm going to try and tip over this way a little bit since there's so much white over there. I 
I would like to try and keep some of that orange, which I did. Pretty happy about that. I'm going to bring it down here to take a look at it now. And I will tip it to this side here, to this corner. Feels like I still do have quite a bit of paint on this canvas. So I'll do a little bit of tipping off there. And bringing it back a little bit. Okay. Just going to try and tip this down a little bit over here. Just straight down and over. Okay. Just checking my corners as I go. Just going to tip a little bit off down here. In more towards the middle there. Okay, now I'm going to bring it down and take a look at it again. I think it's very, very pretty, very, um, light and airy type painting. A lot of really nice areas here. And I think I would like to try and stretch that out just a little bit if I can. And the paint is moving a lot slower now. Okay, and now I will stretch it down the other way if possible. Okay, just going to take a look at it here. Very, very pretty, very colorful painting. I'm very pleased with the mix. The colors stay very vibrant and then the stripes stay um, 
very separate, very, uh, what's the word I want to use? Very crisp. The lines stay very crisp. Okay, I'm going to torch it one more time here. And then I will bring you down for a close up. And I'll show you the areas that I really like here. So let's get you down for a close-up. Okay, everybody, let's have our close-up now. This is the upper left-hand corner, and this is one of my favorite spots of this painting. Like I said, you can tell how crisp those lines stayed there. You can see the, the, the dark Van Dyke brown there and and the orange coming through, very pretty. And then underneath you can see all the lighter colors also with those pretty stripes. Just coming down the left-hand side, I really like this yellow too, how it came through, very pretty. And this is what the mix does. If you look very closely, you can actually see the orange underneath some of this yellow. It shows you layers. And that's what I think is so fantastic about it. Here's some of the copper coming through, and I had bronze in there also, and a little bit of gold. And here the orange is very vibrant. And I do like this white down here in the corner. I wanted to keep that also. The orange especially I tried to keep, and I was pretty lucky being able to do that. And we're just going to take you up the middle here. And pretty in this area too with that dark brown and then I'll take you to the upper here's the upper right corner again I really like the corners on this painting very pretty a lot going on and I'll take you down the right hand side here Very nice in there. Got a really nice uh, amount of brown with the uh, bronze and the copper. And then here's the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time I do post a new video. And uh, share it too. And if you haven't subscribed and would like to consider, that would be great to help my channel grow. I want to thank all my subscribers, all my watchers. I really do appreciate you all. And until next time, take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.